Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at this Blue Ox Sway Pro weight distribution system with sway control. This is designed to help uh, level out your trailer so that not all of its tongue weight is pushing down on your hitch receiver ball, uh, which oftentimes can cause your vehicle to squat in the back end, which puts a lot of strain on your rear suspension. Can also bring up your front end so your headlights are shining into other drivers' eyes, it makes your steering kind of light and your tires wear unevenly. So this system is going to help balance that trailer out. It's gonna distribute the weight of the trailer over all the axles of the trailer and your tow vehicle. So everything's gonna be nice and level. So it's gonna give you more uh, control. It's also going to have the built-in sway control. So it's gonna help keep your trailer in line. So even if a big gust of wind or semi truck uh, passes by, it's going to help keep uh, your trailer right where you want it to be. Uh, and this is designed specifically uh, for your underslung couplers. So the couplers that are mounted to the bottom of your trailer's frame, uh, because that distance you can see there in the picture, uh, you wanna make sure that you're getting the right one for your setup. So if you have an overslung coupler, we do have other uh, uh, sway pros that are designed for those, uh, but this is specifically designed for your underslung couplers. And this is going to have a max weight uh, capacity, the growing to gross towing weight of 6,000 pounds. Uh, so that, is, of course, is the weight of the trailer plus the load included. And then the more important number is actually going to be that tongue weight. So the optimal tongue weight range for this is going to be between 350 pounds and 550 pounds. Uh, so you wanna make sure that that's gonna work for your setup. Again, we do have other uh, Sway Pros that have higher weight capacities, so make sure you're getting the right one for you. Uh, but this system is going to slide right into your two inch by two inch trailer hitch receiver. Uh, make sure that your hitch is rated for use with weight distribution. Not all of them are, and obviously you don't want to overtax your hitch. They do include this standard 5 8 pin and clip uh, to make sure that it's not gonna wiggle its way out. A uh, couple of measurements for you from the center of our uh, pin hole here to the center of our adjustment holes on our uh, shank. It's going to be right at nine inches from the center of our pin hole to the back of our gusset. Here, it's right at four inches. So again, make sure that's gonna work for your setup. You can see we do have this adjustable shank that's going to allow us to move our head up and down to accommodate different height trailers so that we can make sure everything's gonna be nice and level. Uh, if we have it in the max drop position like we have here, uh, from the top inside edge of our receiver tube down to where our coupler is gonna sit, we're gonna have a max drop of two inches, which obviously isn't a whole lot, uh, but we can flip this over uh, from the position it's in now so that we have it in the rise position, and then we can mount the head up to uh, eight inches. So if your trailer coupler sits a lot higher than your hitch on your vehicle, you can have up to eight inches of rise there. And these holes are spaced about an inch and a quarter apart. So that gives you an idea of the uh, adjustability that you'll have to accommodate lots of different uh, rises and a little bit of a drop there to make sure that your trailer is gonna be nice and level. So moving down from our shank, we do have our head here. This is going to have our two and five sixteenth inch hitch ball already installed. It comes included, so that's one less thing that you're gonna have to purchase, uh, and it's already torqued down, so one less thing that you're gonna have to worry about installing. One thing I really like about the Sway Pro system uh, with other systems, uh, I mean, all weight distribution systems are going to require a little bit of a tilt in the head to make sure that they function properly. With other systems, they typically achieve that tilt with like a, a bolt and washers. Uh, so you have to kind of guess how many washers you're gonna need on that bolt, uh, assemble it all, put it in place, see how it works. Uh, if it's not enough, you'll have to take the head unit off, add more washers or take some washers off. So it can be a big hassle. With this, it's already built in. The tilt is built into the arms here. Uh, so that's a really nice way of making it a much simpler um, installation and use for you. So I really like that about this Sway Pro. I wish all uh, weight distribution systems would go to that design, uh, but a lot of them don't. So that's one thing that stands out about this for me. And you can see on the back side of our arms uh, connector, connections here, we've got grease zerks built in. So it's gonna be very easy to hook up our grease gun, uh, add a little bit of lubrication there, make sure everything's gonna move 
uh, properly. Our trunnion spring bars are connected to our head assembly uh, with these pins. So it's gonna be very easy to get them assembled, slide the arms in, line up those holes, put the pin through, put that clip on the other side. Uh, so if we need to take the arms off for whatever reason, we can very easily do that. But then once they're installed, they are gonna have that nice secure connection. Our trunnions are going to, or our spring bars are going to connect into our head assembly. Uh, and there are trunnions in here that are designed to help hold the spring bars securely in position and place just enough tension on them to cause them to constantly force your trailer in line. So that's part of our uh, sway control system, making sure that our trailer is there. And then the, the spring bars themselves are going to flex appropriately for a nice controlled even ride. So these are really where our, um, our level for our trailer is coming from. These are gonna be under tension once we get our system installed and that's going to be lifting up on the trailer so that it's all gonna remain level. Now these arms can be switched out. Uh, they're interchangeable with other uh, Blue Ox spring bars. So if you are uh, in the future, if you switch setups, you get a different trailer, uh, whatever the case may be, you need a higher weight capacity. Uh, these arms can be switched out very easily. You'll still be able to use the rest of the system. So rather than having to go out and buy a whole new system, you can just switch out the arms and it'll give you that uh, adjustability uh, for other setups. And then our spring bars are going to connect to our trailer with these unique rotating latch lift brackets. Uh, these are going to ensure that the chains are nice and tight and secure to help keep the spring bars from uh, moving. So these work very, very easy, super simple to get installed. Um, they'll mount onto your trailer frame. Uh, there's no need to drill or anything. They are a clamp on design. Uh, they'll fit with your trailer frames up to two and five eighths of an inch thick and between three and six inches tall. These will mount about 29 inches back from your hitch ball. So you wanna make sure uh, that your trailer frame will accommodate these. Uh, and then once they're installed, very simple to use. Uh, you wanna make sure that your weight distribution system is installed on your vehicle. Then you'll raise your trailer using the tongue jack. The first time it might take a little bit of uh, effort to figure out which chain link you'll need to use, but once you figure that out, you can just mark it so that uh, from there on out, it's gonna be very easy to get set up each time. So once you have that chain link figured out, you'll put it through our connector here. And they also include this wrench to give you a little bit more leverage, and then you can rotate that up until it locks in place like that. And then that's gonna give you the tension that you need. You can then lower your trailer and the, the arms will automatically help hold that trailer up so it's gonna be nice and level for us. So this system is, uh, does have a nice durable steel construction, so it's going to hold up really well for us. It's got a powder coat finish that's going to allow it to resist corrosion. Uh, it is made here in the USA, so you can trust it is made to the high quality standards. We've come to know and trust for products that are made here in the US. It also comes with a limited lifetime warranty, so if you were to have any problems with it, you're more than welcome to reach out to us here at eTrailer.com. Uh, but I don't think you're gonna have any issues. I think having those spring bars, uh, being able to be switched out if you were to ever upgrade to a different trailer or uh, switch trailers, um, it's gonna give it a lot of versatility for you. They do include instructions to help make sure everything is installed properly. And a couple of little bonus things they include here are some uh, safety chain link extensions or extension links. And then they also have a reducer sleeve. So if you were to ever switch out your hitch ball to get a smaller ball or something along those lines, uh, this will uh, reduce that opening so that you have a nice snug uh, connection there for your hitch ball. So overall, really nice system here. Like I said, I really like that head design, having that tilt built in so you don't have to worry about uh, fumbling with those washers uh, and the interchangeability. Uh, one thing about the chain system is that uh, because they use the chains, it is gonna be a much quieter ride for you than a lot of other systems. Uh, with most, or quite a few systems out there, they use a, a friction-based sway control. So it's just a steel on steel that's causing uh, that trailer to stay in line. But of course, steel on steel can be very noisy, squeaky, 
Uh, so having these chains here is gonna make it a much quieter system. But typically the downside with chains is that you're not gonna have a whole lot of sway control because the chains swing freely. But because these are in this channel here, we are gonna still have that sway control ability. Uh, so it's going to keep those chains nice and tight so that we're not gonna have to worry about them swinging around. Plus, with this system, you are gonna be able to reverse without having to get out of your vehicle and disconnect the weight distribution system. Uh, so it is gonna be much easier if you're getting into the campsite late at night or something like that. You just wanna be done. You can very easily back up, not have to worry about disconnecting it. So really nice system here. Like I said, you do just wanna make sure that you're getting the right one for you. So make sure you have that underslung coupler uh, and that this uh, weight or the uh, weight capacity is going to work for your setup. If that's the case, I think this is gonna be a great option. So that completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.